In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 29, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Jose Sharks vs. Montreal Canadiens We have a non-conference matchup between the San Jose Sharks and the Montreal Canadiens on Tuesday evening at the Bell Centre. The Sharks are 7th in the Central Division and are coming off a 4-3 overtime home loss on Sunday against the Vancouver Canucks. The Canadiens are 6th in the Atlantic Division and are on a two-game winning streak as they are coming off a 3-2 shootout road win over the Chicago Blackhawks on Friday. The Sharks are 2-8 in their last 10 games against the Atlantic. The Sharks are 4-0 in their last four road games versus a team with a winning home record. The over is 5-1 in the Canadiens' last six home games. The under is 5-1 in the Canadiens' last six games on Tuesday. The over is 7-1 in Canadiens' last eight after allowing two goals or fewer in their previous game. The San Jose Sharks continue to struggle, dropping five out of their last six games overall. The Canadians have been better than most expected and have won three out of their last four games. They are benefiting from outstanding goaltending as Sam Montembold has only conceded three goals in his last two games and is sporting an outstanding .924 save percentage on the season. Furthermore, the Sharks continue to struggle defensively and allow a ton of goals. They have surrendered a whopping 17 goals in their last three games. Montreal has generated offense, scoring at least four goals in four out of its last six home games. Montreal is going to have no issue getting the job done here. The Sharks are giving up 3.58 goals per game, and so the Canadians are going to have no issue running up the score here. I get the reasoning for backing San Jose here as the Sharks have actually been decent on the road this season. However, the Canadians have been better overall lately and tend to do their better work at home and side by side. I just feel more comfortable backing Montreal. Look for Montreal to score three or four goals, and that will be enough for the Canadians to get the job done. So the Montreal Canadiens' money line is our full game side pick. The Sharks are generating offense. They have registered an average of 3.5 goals in their last 10 games, including 13 goals in their last three road bouts. Montreal ranks near the bottom with an XG as 60 minutes of 2.84 goals. In addition, the Canadians have scoring punch led by Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield. They have scored at least three goals in six out of their last eight games, and the Sharks' goaltending is poor. Reimer has a three goals against average, while Kakonen has posted a horrible 3.81 goals against average. The over is also 4-1 to one in the Canadiens' last five home games. I expect a high-scoring bout in this one. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Tampa Bay Lightning vs. Boston Bruins The Tampa Bay Lightning will go on the road on Tuesday night to the TD Garden to clash with the Boston Bruins in an Atlantic Division matchup. The Lightning are fourth in the Atlantic Division and are on the second leg of a back-to-back -back after facing the Buffalo Sabres on the road Monday. The Bruins have been doing well as they are leading the Atlantic Division and are coming off a 3-2 overtime home win on Friday over the Carolina Hurricanes. This will be the second of four regular season games against each other as the Bruins won 5-3 on the road back on November 21st. The Lightning are 37-17 in their last 54 games playing on zero days rest and 5-1 in their last six overall. The Bruins are 52-18 in their last 70 home games and 45-17 in their last 62 overall. The over is 8-3-1 in Lightning last 12 overall. The under is 5-2-1 in Bruins last eight home games. The Lightning are 7-1 in the last eight meetings in Boston and 0-4 in the last four meetings. The underdog is 9-4 in the the last 13 meetings. The road team is 4-1 to one in the last five meetings. These are two of the best teams in the entire NHL, so this should be an interesting matchup. Tampa Bay is scoring four goals in their last five games, while Boston is averaging 3.3 goals in their previous three games. These goalies are both doing well, so it will be very close. The Boston Bruins keep flexing their muscle as the best team in the league, and they're not a club I'm eager to step in front of, especially at home. However, we're getting the Tampa Bay Lightning in the underdog role, something you 
you only get a handful of times in a season. You're not going to get this price often with the Lightning. Additionally, the Lightning are 7 to 1 in their previous 8 games played in Boston, so the Tampa Bay Lightning money line is our full game side pick. Having Andre Vasowski and Linus Omark inside of the net for their respective team, scoring goals is going to be extremely difficult to put the puck in the back of the net. Both defenses have been doing very well at killing penalties as the Lightning are killing 77.6% of penalties while the Bruins are killing 84.3% of penalties heading into this game. The under has hit in five of the previous seven games against one another. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Carolina Hurricanes vs. Pittsburgh Penguins The Carolina Hurricanes and Pittsburgh Penguins face off on Tuesday in an NHL showdown at the PPG Paints Arena. When these two teams faced off in March, it was the Penguins that secured the 4-2 victory. The Hurricanes are 1-5 in their last six road games and 1-5 in their last six overall. The Penguins are 1-4 in their last five home games and 5-1 in their last six overall. The under is 7-1 in Hurricanes' last eight overall. The under is 4-1 in Penguins' last Last five overall. The Hurricanes are 5 to 2 in the last seven meetings. The favorite is 14 to 5 in the last 19 meetings. Pittsburgh has been playing much better than Carolina recently. The Penguins have won five of their last six games, while the Hurricanes have lost five of their last six games. The offense has been struggling for the Canes recently. They scored two or fewer goals in six of their last 10 games. Carolina ranks 28th in goals per game and third in shots per game. While Carolina is getting shots on goal, they are not scoring. They have been very inefficient on offense. The Penguins have been good on offense. They rank 9th in goals per game and 9th in shots per game. Pittsburgh scored 4 or more goals in 6 out of their last 10 games. Sidney Crosby leads the Pens with 29 points and 11 goals. Crosby is tied for 5th in the league in points. The Carolina Hurricanes are in a bit of a funk over the last 2 weeks, and their offense can't be trusted right now. The Pittsburgh Penguins are starting to get their act together, and they're kind of due for a home victory after some recent struggles. Bottom line here is we're getting the team in better form for a cheap price. With the Hurricanes struggling recently and Pittsburgh playing well, the Penguins will take care of business at home. So the Pittsburgh Penguins' money line is our full game side pick. Carolina has been very inefficient on offense. They scored two or fewer goals in six of their last 10 games. Carolina ranks 28th in goals per game and third in shots per game. However, Carolina has been playing very good defense and they have received good goaltending. They rank ninth in goals against per game and second in shots against per game. The total has gone under in six of Pittsburgh's last nine games when playing at home against Carolina. The under has hit in nine out of 13 road games for Carolina this season. This will be a lower scoring game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.